Well, hey folks, my name is Brad, and typically I'm up in the mountains of Vermont with my metal detector searching for old colonial and Victorian treasures lost by the folks that used to live up there. But today, maybe you can see I am in a deep canyon up in the mountains. It has been almost 100 degrees the last two weeks, far too hot to be hiking up into the mountains. So this used to be a popular swimming spot back in the 1800s. It still is today, and I'm excited to see what maybe we can find here in the cool water on a hot day. Now, if this is one of my first videos you've seen, I post one of these every single Friday, so if you like what you see today, consider subscribing or just come on back next week. I'm gonna get my feet wet and see if we can find a few cool old things here in the water. Well, this is where we're going to start searching, in this small stream. You can see that this canyon has very tall walls. It's quite difficult to get down here. But, just up this way, is a beautiful swimming hole, which I can only describe as majestic. But first, let's see if there's a few treasures down here. All right, we just stepped in. This is my very first target. It's an 84. And it's a coin. And it's a modern penny. <laughs> I suspect we're gonna find a lot of these today, but you never know what else could be here. Well, it's been approximately five minutes. Let me show you what I found so far. We have one modern dime, two modern pennies, and a modern nickel. But I just got a 70, 75 on the metal detector. I dug it out, and I absolutely cannot believe this. That's a mercury dime, silver. Absolutely unbelievable. I, oh, I can't believe it. It could be the date. And uh, there was actually more targets down in the hole. It might just be trash down there, but we're gonna find out. That's a great, great find. Been here five minutes. Hopefully I didn't just jinx myself. If there's anything else down here, I'll certainly let you know. I'm just gonna keep on moving upstream. All right, we're gonna do one together. It's probably going to be a modern coin, but just to kind of show you what I've been up to. It's a very nice target, uh, 90 something. And you can see it's, it was actually right on the rock right there. <laughs> on the surface, I didn't even have to dig for it. Penny, but again, the green, it's been in here for a while despite being right on the surface. And I've said over and over in my videos, you know, the Vermont streams up here, when we get a bunch of water, it just gets carved out and most everything that's in the stream winds up way downstream into the flat water stuff. But right in front of me here is somewhat of a break. The heavy, heavy rain fills up that hole, acts as a little bit of a dam, and I don't think it gets too crazy right here. Probably why we're finding so much stuff. Keep going here, see what else we can find. So I have a bit of a confession. I decided I was gonna come here because it's just too hot to go up into the mountains and I fully expected to only find some clad coins, maybe a ring. Never in my wildest dreams did I expect to find any silver coins today, but I just found number two for the day. Cannot believe it. Here's my pile of coins so far my one mercury dime, and I just found a silver Roosevelt. I believe the date is 1940 something. It's actually very dark in the canyon right now. You probably can't tell from the video footage, but I can't read the date right now. So hopefully you can. 1940 something, absolutely unbelievable. If that stuff is down here, there's no reason why stuff from the 1800s can't be down here as well. I haven't even made it up to the beautiful actual swimming hole yet. Still slowly making my way up this creek. I'm excited. Let's keep searching.
Well, I just found my first item that is not a coin. I have found zero trash here so far. It's maybe been a half an hour. All coins. Until I just found a key. I don't think it's incredibly old. It looks like it's a GM. But it's been in the stream for a while at least. I'm okay with that. If people are losing keys, they could be losing anything in here. It seems like the older stuff is deeper, which makes sense. Those two silver coins were quite a bit deeper than this was, which was basically on the surface. Let's keep searching. hand. Yep, that's a green modern penny it looks like. But you can see how deep it was. I mean, it was two, three inches. Not sure how many that makes it so far today, but <laughs> a ton. What a place this is. There's just coins everywhere. Mostly modern, but every once in a while, I just found another key. This one, again, I'm not sure is incredibly old, but it's certainly been in the stream for a while. It's all encrusted here with pebbles. And it's very short. I suspect that went to. I think I'm most surprised by how little trash there is here. I found zero. No pull tabs, no beer cans, no bottle caps. It's great, it's great to see, especially a beautiful place like this. All right, let's go up and take a look at the swimming hole itself. This whole time I've just been down below it in the stream, but this thing is incredible. Now, I did make a video here several years ago now. I didn't find much except modern coins, but now I have a new metal detector, many more years of experience under my belt. Let's take a dive and see if we can find a few things in there. Unbelievably, I went around this pool probably 20 times with the metal detector. I found those two quarters, nothing else. No trash, no other coins, but this is such a magical place. Just the time spent here is the treasure in and of itself. I'm gonna get out of the pool, go back down to the stream, see if maybe we can find a few more coins, and then we'll get out of here. All right, well I have a 94 on my metal detector and maybe you can see just how much I've taken off the surface. Not very much, but my pinpointer isn't reacting to the target yet, which means it's gonna be a deep one, which hopefully means it's gonna be an old one. So we're gonna do this together. Very likely could be a quarter dropped a week ago, but we're gonna find out together. Okay, the pinpointer reacts to it, which means we're getting close. It's in my hand. What could it be? What could it be? A modern quarter. 
Was it dropped last week? Maybe. Probably not though, judging by the green scale on there and how deep it was. But that's what's great about this hobby is you just absolutely never know. This could have been a large scent or a silver quarter. Maybe the next one will be. Well, right up there is where I was finding all of the coins kind of in that gravel and I've moved down. You can see here that the stream has carved out the rock bed and there's very little gravel down here. And I just got a very nice target down here and it's kind of stuck in the layers of the stone. Let's see what it is here. Turn on my pin pointer. And maybe you can hear from my headphones, there's a target in the 80s in the layers of stone. So we're gonna get that out together. Start just by putting some water on it. Would you believe it? I think I see the rim to a silver coin. Now, I didn't bring anything with me today because I was expecting I'm getting fully wet, which means I'll have my wallet or my pocket knife to dig that out of there. So I'm just gonna attempt to do it with my fingers. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, came out easy. Came out easy. Wash it off and we'll look at it together. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's, a, it's a barber dime. Looks like 1892. That is absolutely unbelievable. One dime, you can see it's turned a little bit black from being in the stream, being in the water all this time. Man, right in the stones here. So clearly folks, we're here cooling off in the summertime, even back in the 1800s. And being able to find things from them is incredible to me. Not only because of the beauty of this place, which they must have also appreciated, but because it has been sitting here in the exact same spot for all those years for me to find. Absolutely incredible. All right, folks, well, the day is warming up. More and more people are arriving wanting to swim. So I'm gonna get out of here a little bit earlier than I would have liked today. I found more coins in this one spot than I think I have ever found in one day. Now, granted, most of them are modern, but at least three of them are old and silver, and one of them is from the 1800s. I can't believe it. Now I'm not gonna have a typical wrap up today because really all I found was a big pile of modern coins, but let's take a look at it anyways. And here is the pile of coins and the little treasures for the day. Off to the side here, we have the two keys. Maybe they were connected at one point, who knows? Two sinkers for fishing and uh, two bullets. And then over here, of course, the huge pile of modern coins. I have not counted it. And you know, likely some of those pennies are wheat cents, maybe even some Indians, but they were corroded enough. I saw that it was a penny and just kind of threw it in my pocket. I'll go through them, count it up, let you know how much money that is. But down in the front is what I'm most excited about. We have a Barber dime, a Mercury dime, and a Roosevelt dime. Three silver coins. So much fun today. All right, folks, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Next week is supposed to be in the 70s, nice and cool. So I hope to be back up in the mountains and out of the water, but you never know. I had a ton of fun today. We'll see where I end up next week. Hopefully, I'll see you then.